Ladies, gents, what's going on? You clicked on this video and wondered how exactly do I start a nightclub and how do I get started with my business? Very simple. There's a total of 10 nightclubs available in GTA Online starting today. Uh, they range from just a little over 1 million to the most expensive one being 1.7 million. As always, all this stuff is all based on location and it doesn't have any influence in your business or your nightclub itself. The cheapest one is all the way down at Alicia Islands. Personally, I would never really go for that one. And the one that I went for is the most expensive one down in West Vinewood, costing a total of $1.7 million. With upgrades and everything to the max, I got up to a whopping $5 million if you want to have the most expensive one with all the upgrades. Inside of the nightclub, you're also able to store uh, some of your older businesses as well alongside of new vehicles and the new vehicles as well, such as the Pounder Custom and also the Mew Custom, you are required to purchase a nightclub in order to be able to store those vehicles. So once you bought the nightclub and chose the location that is appealing to you, upgraded everything that you see fit, what you want to do is uh, watch all the cutscenes and head down to the laptop that is uh, in Tony's office. Once you're there, simply select either setup staff or setup equipment. And once you've done both of those missions, you'll get an additional mission as well, uh, making you go and get one of the DJs that is in the DLC as well. And then you have to deliver him, of course, also to your nightclub. Uh, Am I even going to be able to fit under there? Just <laughs> And at that point is when your nightclub is fully set up and you're ready to go. Uh, what you can then choose to do is you can go to up to your uh, computer again in your nightclub. And my personal advice would be is to enter your nightclub through your garage. The reason I'm saying that is because it's much easier and much faster to go through the B1 area of your garage versus going through the nightclub. Because first of all, you're walking a lot slower uh, through the nightclub and you obviously have to deal with a whole lot more NPCs while going through there. So the garage, you're just able to simply sprint towards your laptop and save yourself a bunch of time. Just a neat little tip, do with it whatever you want to. Once you're at your laptop, you have a few options as well. You can assign uh, staff members to do stuff for your existing businesses. Personally, I haven't really uh, dived into this too much yet. So again, this is just a pure beginning uh, guide of what exactly everything is. The way I saw it works is that you can assign up to five people to go and you know take care of your older businesses. Uh, I've done that. I went to my bunker, for example. I didn't see an increase in value. The stock levels were still the same, even though I've assigned those members to that already. So whenever I know more about that stuff, I'll do another video on it and go more in depth about that stuff. But as of now, it doesn't look like it's actually increasing value. Uh, but what it does look like that if you do actually set those people to your existing businesses, you're going to be able to collectively sell stuff together. And that way you're probably gonna be able to earn more than you normally would with the existing businesses. How all that stuff works, I'm gonna you know, look into that as the day goes by and the week goes by as well. And I'll try to have a detailed video on that as soon as possible. Another thing you can do is head down to nightclub management and start a promote club mission. And this mission can basically be seen as kind of like a resupply kind of mission uh, where you either have to spread some uh, flyers around or anything along the lines of that. Um, I haven't done all the missions yet, but from what I can tell, uh, this is just purely to keep your nightclub popularity up. And the more popular your club, obviously, the more money you're going to make. Again, how exactly that's going to work is something they're going to have to figure out as the days go by. But again, as I have those details, I'll, of course, be sharing that with you as well. So stay tuned for the channel for that. Luckily, you're also able to do the promote club missions inside of a private session. So you don't have to worry about dickheads blowing you up for no apparent re reason whatsoever, because they're simply way too salty that they don't own a nightclub themselves. But with that said and done, thank you very much for watching. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below and if you have any suggestions of stuff that you want me to check out and make a video on make sure to let me know down in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more after hours DLC content coming to you very soon and I'll see you all later.